Oh my goodness. What I wouldn't do to be able to pick up all of these things. Oh my, it saves so much time. <laughs> Alright, so a quick little bit of trivia. If you spam click the Abyssal Whip, you don't actually get it. It just takes you out of the cutscene. And this dude actually yells at you, so don't do that. So with this fight, I definitely initially thought I was going to get spanked. This is life, but I think if you just park yourself up against a wall, you're not going to get hit a bunch of times over. I kind of went into the fight and then I immediately just got like pushed back like 10 blocks 10 times in a row. Maybe not that many, but enough to piss me off. So if this quest ever gave you trouble, just stand with your back to a rock. I recommend this little eastern part, but I'm going to do... Go uh, actually finish this before I die. Get absolutely shrecked, mate. Alright, so the quest is now pretty much complete. This uh, little young man also got himself a farming level, so that was adorable to witness. It's always good to see a troll get a farming level. So, that quest wasn't too difficult. I think the hardest part was getting the materials for it. Obviously, super compost. I needed to put pineapples inside a bin and wait. But that is a beautiful experience drop. So I kind of forget where my herbal level was before this. I'm kind of focused on farming. However, all I know is that I got 10,000 herbal experience and 5,000 farming. So all the rewards from this quest are absolutely fantastic. And that's actually pushed me over the edge to get 1,200 total. So I'm extremely happy with that. I can now do Toad Flax and Taramintar. Thank goodness for Taramintar. So that quest is now finished. Um, I'm currently 355 XP away uh, from 39, so I'm getting extremely close to my goal of 40, and I think after I do Enlightened Journey, um, it'll be even closer, so I'm going to go ahead and do that quest now. Oh wow, that is sick. So from that, 39 farming, orange trees, you beauty, 35 fire making, that's a skill I really haven't trained yet, and I think I leveled that twice, so that is pretty good, not to mention. So I've pretty much exhausted every single quest experience I can get to get towards getting 40 farming. But fortunately, I planted this apple tree a little bit earlier on. And there it is. 40 is now done. The farming requirement, at least for Romdale, is uh, complete. And I can move on from that. Uh, the thing is with farming, it's not that too bad of a skill. Once you have like the core components to getting, you know, the experience. So, you know, the seeds, the, the compost and all that stuff. It's just a little bit harder to get those uh, things at least earlier on on the Iron Man account. So getting fording was definitely kind of difficult and the crest rewards definitely didn't go unnoticed. But uh, one thing I need to do now is get 47 prayer. But instead of doing that, what I intend to do to kind of make it a bit easier is uh, boost my prayer at the altar near the Edgeville Monastery. If you play it, if you pray at that altar, uh, you get a few extra levels from it. So I'm going to be using that to my advantage here to boost myself 47 so I can actually do the part where I need to use the Holy Wrench. So I think that'll save a bit of time uh, as opposed to getting 47, just boosting it up just for this one occurrence. Uh, it's definitely going to be a nice little cheat way to get it done for sure. Actually, you're pretty lucky here getting a genie lamp uh, halfway through this quest. So uh, before finishing it, I managed to get 40 herbal for free. So that was pretty nice. I should bring up this menu here because I think I get quite a few rewards that I will enjoy. So 7,000 prayer XP, 7,000 fishing, and also 7,000 farming. So from the looksies of it, I think we got a prayer level and a farming level. And that is about it. But I'm not going to complain. Both of those skills are going to be difficult to train. And I'm glad if there are any opportunity to get up a little higher. So on to the next quest. And there it is. Cabin Fever is complete along with 21,000 experience allocated across three skills. And the agility one I'm, I'm liking the most. But we got a crafting level out of that. Snakeskin van braces. I don't think I'll ever make those unless they're needed for a clue scroll. And even then, I have no idea if they are. So, I have now unlocked Mosley Harmus. And you guys know what that means. All I need to do now, and I should have really done this before because I forgot, um, is buy Witchwood Icon. So, once I have that, I am well equipped and ready to start killing some cave horrors. Alright, so you may remember these uh, iron darts I made just uh, a little while ago. So, the reason why I've made these... Probably not the only reason, but one of the reasons is because I want to try and kill cave horrors with them. The thing is with cave horrors, their attack speed is that awkward thing that I hate. And sometimes they don't attack and it can be infrequent and frustrating. So 
To avoid that, I'm going to actually just range them. Um, I've done that in the past on a different account and it wasn't too bad. The only issue is I was like 80 range, so 59 isn't exactly uh, the greatest, but I'm going to try it anyway. Hopefully it isn't too bad, but I guess we'll find out. So for those who haven't been here before um, and you want to get it quickly, the Trouble Brewing minigame is actually a pretty good teleport and it's one that I just used just then to get here just now after I bought my Witchwood icons. So I was actually surprised that this existed. <laughs> I've never played Trouble Brewing. I would not have a clue where to start and I don't think I'll ever really play it because I haven't needed it up until now at any point so it'd be surprising if that ever changes. However, um, the main attraction of this island of course is the Cave Horrors and hopefully it doesn't take me too long to actually get a Black Mask. I don't really mind. Um, I need ranging XP so as long as I have darts and I have supplies I'm happy to be here. The only issue is I hope I've got everything I need to be in the cave. I only have candles, so I mean, that's kind of shitty. I think they have a chance of going out, but from my previous experiences, I'm pretty sure I should be good to go. I also keep forgetting this um, bug land. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's like, it's good for looks. That's about it. So at least it has some purpose, but if it didn't look good, I mean, I'd still probably bring it because I always think it gives me a light source, which it doesn't, but... From memory, I think the place where I like to train my range here is this spot. No, I'll find it and then I'll let you know. All right, it has to be this one here. So my safe spot of choice is this spot here. And I think there's a spawn of a cave horror to the south and one to the north. And I think this spot will safe spot them both. And if you run into trouble, I'm fairly sure it's quite easy to juke around and find another spot. So this is where I'm going to be camping for my black mask. I'll give you guys the art. Uh, the showdown of what is the first loot. If it's a black mask, I'm going to scream, but I can't be that lucky, I suppose. So wish me luck. Hopefully I don't get ragged for this, by this bat for too long. And hopefully we get ourselves a black mask. Okay, so approximately, I don't know, 25 kills in, we get the first black mask. I kind of wanted to stay here for longer, I'll be honest. But, I mean, a black mask is a black mask. I'm not going to complain. So I think it is about time we get stuck into doing some actual slay with this thing. I'm super surprised. I'm actually stoked how quickly I got that. So I just finished my first slay task with the black mask and it was beautiful, even though it was on rock slugs. But something I didn't notice whilst I got my prayer love love, if you noticed in that last clip, I actually hit 85 combat. And you know what that means? This little hot saucy minx is going to kind of be the person where I can side and console for um, slay tasks. But 140 trolls is pretty disappointing, not gonna lie, but I guess we'll get stuck into it anyway. Yeah, not a big fan of trolls, so I kind of removed all footage of it. There is actually no evidence that I ever did that slayer task. 59 slave is beautiful, and I thought I'd just acknowledge that because it just happened. Okay, so 60 range has been done in a handy little safe spot next to a cave horror. Um, so that is sick, I'm one level away from the crossbow, but now, I guess it, it doesn't really matter. I can wear a red dehyde, which is pretty cool if I have it for a clue scroll. But until then, I don't think it's going to be a thing. So anyway, we're going to keep going on with, with my Slayer task. I'm not using melee because I just take too much damage as I melee range this. But anyway, 60 range is sick. Let's move on to 61, I reckon. All right, so I've actually... Ooh, what? Whoa, calm down. I actually got to the point where I've actually got 400 reward, po reward points. Apart from not being able to speak because of it, I think I'm going to allow myself to unlock the Slayer Helm. Obviously, I need 55 crafting, but it's obviously going to be good if I can get that unlocked. So, Ma Malevolent Masquerade confirmed. So, I can now make myself a Slayer Helmet if required. Obviously, I need the crafting level, but I think in the grand scheme of things, getting the points required is going to be a lot easier than getting the crafting level required. So, that is sick, and all that's left to do is obviously get that crafting level and then we will have ourselves a Slayer Mask. I'm getting quite a lot of these fire giant tasks throughout my, my Slayer journey. And 71 hit points started off this one quite nicely. Alright, so we just achieved 60 Slayer. And this Slayer task has felt like the longest one in history. Um, I'm also just achieved 61 range quite a while ago. What happened with that is that I was going to record it. It was going to be sweet. And as soon as I got it, I got six hour logged. So that was pretty much the biggest cock lock I've ever had from a six hour log, I must admit. But 62 is just around the corner. And I'm sure I'll let you guys see it in a second. But 60 Slayer for now is great. Hopefully this Slayer task will actually be done soon enough. But 
Uh, for now, I'm happy with that. All right, so as I promised, 62 range is done. It's now time to pick up the disc gimme and trying to smash out 70 attack uh, as I complete the final part of this Slayer task. All right, so I just literally got 70 attack just then. Don't want to waste any more experience getting that up. So that is obviously where I'm going to park my attack until I can wield an Abyssal Whip. So that's actually really good. Um, so now it's off to uh, train a little bit of defense because I'm getting smashed to pieces in every single task I get. But anyway, 70 attack is fantastic. Uh, now we've got to move on to getting our strength and our defense up a little bit. I've been wanting uh, to take that black mask and uh, turn it into a Slayer Helm for quite a while. So I thought I'd take the time to kind of go through the effort and try and at least make a dent in the requirement in the crafting department so i went and bought 500 soda ash and about 500 buckets of sand in an attempt to kind of you know make a little bit of progress in that regard so i think uh starting at 47 this might get me to around 50 51 but i'm not a hundred percent too sure i guess the if only there was like a nice convenient little montage that would come across my screen in a display what's going on but yeah so we got our 51 crafting for from those 500 molten glass uh i made them all into uncharged orbs so from here what i can do i can plus boost myself with a evil state evil dave stew uh and actually i could even boost myself to 56 but all i do need is actually a 55 so a plus four boost is much easier to obtain so what i'm going to do now is uh Grab my cat out and go to the basement at Evil Dave's place. I don't know, his mom's place? It's not his, but uh, I went and grabbed everything out of the bank, got all the stuff ready. So once I do get the boost, I'm able to, you know, capitalize on it straight away and hopefully not lose it before making the helmet. So uh, I did one trip. Uh, like when I try to get these stew boosts, I try to get as many spices as possible, not just the one I need, because I know eventually it'll all roll around. It'll come to the point where I will use each individual color. Uh, so yeah, I try to keep as many on point as I can. So before getting the boost, I managed to get a hundred rats caught. Not exactly what I'm going for, but this will be attempt number two at getting the stew boost. And of course, we managed to get it. So there is the Slayer Helm in all its glory. And I should have it for a very long time to come.